We're back. It's my recap of the finale of The Mormon Bachelor. We're down to two girls. The mosh pit girl, her name's Annalie, and the British girl, her name is Elena. Who's he going to choose? I think he's going to choose Elena, the British chick. He gave her the first impression, Rose. She's cute and fun, uh, and she's never kissed anybody before. Will that end? Let's find out. All right. So Colin's taking out Annalie first, the mosh pit girl. And they say if you want to know who somebody really is, you meet their friends. Well, to say the least, Annalie's friends are different. These are great friends. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that was, that was weird. Who's this guy? Buddy, you're making us nervous. So he takes her to a restaurant. And, of course, they're sitting on the same side of the booth in, like, perfect Mormon awkwardness. How are we doing, guys? Good, how are you? Good. All right, there we go. This is our menu. My name is Red. I'll be your guys' server. Red? I, get to start I wonder how we got that name. Hibiscus, uh, please. All right. Oh, okay. Now it makes sense why Colin's never had a girlfriend. Is that a Tosmo? All right, notice their outfits here and the next scene. All right, what? I haven't seen a switcheroo like that since 07 in High School Musical 2. I'm not saying I'm going to dance at the show. Like, honestly, these dudes definitely banged, right? Like, why the hell else would their clothes be swapped? There is absolutely no explanation. I mean, four minutes and 20 seconds of pure sexual tension on the baseball field and their clothes swap? Okay, back to the Mormon Bachelor. Elena, I, could, I could have easily seen Elena like taking the whole thing since the beginning. You can see Elena taking it all. Bro... Did you know you're the one choosing? This is your show. All right, so Colin is meeting Elena's sister. Obviously, she's also British. But here comes your first cringy Colin clip of the day. Okay. Okay, that was weird. Just gonna give you a little kissy kiss on the knuckle. Okay, why is Colin dressed like that sweet old neighbor that will, like, shovel everybody's driveways in the winter? <laughs> All right, Colin and Elena are going on their first one-on-one, -on -one, and they're going horseback riding. Could be cute, could be kind of sexy. Now, listen to the horse lady. Give them the best dating slash sex advice ever. Um, you're going to get to know them a little bit and kind of gain a relationship before you're sitting on their backs, okay? Oh, she's talking about horses? Oh, well, I guess it kind of goes both ways, honestly. Here's a romantic date idea. Let's ride horses in a corral away from each other. That's fun. Hey, Colin, lose the helmet, bud. No chick ever wants to bang a dude wearing a helmet on a walking horse. Okay, here's cringy Colin clip of the day number two. And this one is cowboy version. Yeehaw. <laughs> Delano a lot. Uh, she's easy to talk to. Whoa, freeze. Hold up. This dude's using a fork and knife for ice cream. Definitely more nervous than I expected. Uh, I'm like low-key wetting myself in the back seat. <laughs> You guys had a really cute date. You went horseback riding. A cute date, Remington? All right, is it just me, or does anyone else catch Carlisle from Twilight vibes every time they see Remington? All right, finally, Colin is sending somebody home. Have you ever seen a Mormon breakup before? Here's one, and it's totally awkward and weird. Like, they keep apologizing, and they keep saying no worries. Here's the entire breakup right now. Okay. Hi. Okay. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is uncomfortable. I don't, I don't want you to feel compared to Annalie because, okay. because you guys are so different. Yeah. And it's That's not, true. it's, this is, this is hard to say. It's, it's okay. not, I, it's fine. It's not anything, you're an amazing girl. Absolutely amazing. Honestly, That's one really of fine. the best girls I've ever met. <laughs> I think you have a lot of great qualities, amazing qualities. That's really kind. I actually really, really feel for this girl right now. Like this hurts. She's the only one that didn't have a secret boyfriend, that didn't leave him to go on a mission, and that didn't end up getting engaged while on the show. And you're sending her home? You're gonna dump her? What are you doing, Colin?
I'm sure you have people lined up at the doors trying to get to oh, know you. Oh, not at all, but that's... <laughs> no, I fully committed to this for four months, but that, that's okay, Colin. Oh, it's honestly, don't even, don't even stress about it. It's okay. Right. Thank well, you so much. Thank you so much. Yikes. That was rough. Well, are you as surprised as I am? He chose the mosh pit girl with the exact same last name as him. Weird. And I just can't wait to get to know you more. I just want to spend a lot more time with you. Yes, propose! May, Ross. Nah, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> She's but laughing through the tears. Like she was full on gonna yes. say yes. Well, that's it. The Mormon Bachelor is done. And so are my recaps. For now, because the Mormon Bachelorette is up next, and this time they're not choosing just one Bachelorette, not two, three Mormon Bachelorettes for next season. That means three times the cringe, three times the Mormon awkwardness, and three times the recaps right here. Uh, and if you watched my recaps, thank you. Thanks for being my friend. Thanks for sending me messages. Thanks for following. Uh, it's been great. But until next time, I'm excited. I need more Mormon cringe.